folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rockin' the Country, and today we're going to be rocking bluegrass. And I consider bluegrass well within the country family, as anybody would, I think. When you say nothing at all by the Petersons, it had been quite a while since I'd done the Petersons, and I've really enjoyed them. And of course, their music, and just following them through the years, it's just been a fun thing to see this family. <laughs> and yeah, a few friends and such, and maybe spouses by this point, um, do their thing. So, and I'm pretty sure they're in Missouri now. Um, Colorado factors in there somehow, but maybe they were just performing in Colorado last time. I, I don't remember, but when you say nothing at all, nobody requested it. It was just time to do another one of theirs. And I'm wondering if this is an Allison Krauss cover, because I know I did... Allison's song, and Allison is just, I mean, if there's a heaven on earth, uh, a vocal voice of heaven on earth, Allison would get my nod. Here we go. Love the setting already. It's amazing how you speak right to my heart without saying a word you can light up the dark nice. well try as I may I could never explain what I hear when you don't say a thing The smile on your face lets me know that you need me There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me The touch of your hand says you'll catch me if ever I fall Oh, you say it best when you say nothing at all I love that lyric Don't shoot me, but I'm thinking of this and as part of the purpose of reactions. But there's a quote that I've heard, a saying that I heard like 30, 40 years ago when I've benefited and worked on it so much in my life too, that something should only be said if it's of more value than the silence. And I forget who said it. I doubt it's like George Santayana or someone, but you know, who thinks of the silence having value? But this song captures it in real interpersonal uh, dynamic and moments. All day long I can hear people talking out loud. But when you hold me near, you drown up the crowd. Good work. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. The touch of your hand says you'll catch me if ever I fall. Oh, you say it best when you say nothing at all. harmonies
Yeah, I made the comment about the videographer because so many people, when they get a camera in their hands, they think the job is to come up close as much as they can. And so they basically they insert themselves into the video. They, they're not in the scene. You don't see them, but they're doing it by changing the experience. The videographer stayed back, let the smoke come up once in a while from the fire, and then backed up. And But the song itself is a song about safety. You know, like women in a relationship, the biggest thing, generally speaking, that women want is to feel safe. And there are numbers of things that can obviously make a, a woman not feel safe. I mean, we guys want that too, because that's about trust and all that. But I've spoken with enough women in my life, not just in my life coaching practice, but just in the dance studio I used to own. Safety. I mean, almost all women will agree that that is head in the list. It's more than a nice head of hair, good looking dude. You want to feel safe. You want those other things too. But just the content of the so there's some songs are so well done that no matter what part of it you're focused on, you're saturated with goodness or something that captures your attention that's got depth to it maybe that's better that's saturated with depth the instru instrumentation did that even just their harm obviously the vocals in this was beautiful as Alison Krauss's was too but the lyrics in this song are so well done and even bringing up Webster uh you know Daniel Webster wrote the dictionary he couldn't define this, what happens between two hearts when we're saying nothing. And that's true. I mean, it, that's just true. I mean, how do you define something that's not being said? You don't. And that's the nature of love. Like love is one of those things. There are certain words in language that capture, like in French, it's like a certain je ne sais quoi, an indefinable something. You know it's there, something is there, but you can't define it. And there's certain words like spirit. That's another one of those words that you know it when you see it. When somebody has school spirit, you know it when you see they're wearing the colors, they're cheering, they're out, whatever they're doing. And love is one of those things that is just, you could try capturing it. Good luck with that. You could try capturing it in words. It just... You'll get closer to it, but you won't get there. It's asymptotic at best. And I love that. So, all right, I'm going to rate. I really liked their rendition of this, too. The way they harmonized, they even brought, I don't know what the gentleman's name is, they brought him in to partly vocalize, which is a bold move, in my opinion, because I guess maybe it's bold just because I know Alison Krauss's rendition. I don't know. When this song was first performed, I don't know whose song it was originally. Uh, the one that I know was Allison's, and so that's what I'm comparing this to. So it was a bold move to have the guy in it, and it worked. It really worked. And then there was Mom in the back on bass, just doing her thing. Um, of course, having a dobro, and just obviously it was just beautiful, beautiful rendition. Man, I I got to say I didn't see a flaw in this. I didn't feel a flaw. I I just I I didn't think that they were going to be able to match Allison's rendition of it that I that I'd heard. And I'm confident that I would have given that a 10, but the number that popped into my head on this is a 10 as well. There wasn't a flaw in this. Uh, so there it is. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. I'll see you on the, on the next video. Keep rocking the country and bluegrass.